feel like uh, I'm being watched. There is there's a light over somebody else out. You're getting flickerings of light. Like I've been watched, somebody's out here. Well, I've checked the sound next is no infrared red light showing up. I can see it better. Okay guys, how is everyone doing? I'm just getting it ready for a night. Skywatch has just pulled up in the camper van on near main road. I'm gonna walk up onto Liz Murray's spend the night. I'm filming on the side next tonight and at the moment. Got a bit of food in my bag, I'm gonna cut that stay the night. See what I'm looking for. I mean, anything strange in the skies or anywhere else. It'd be interesting so get these bags together and we'll get going. So here we go guys, off the adventure through the woods, up to the moors and uh, something about walking through woods. And you know, there's a couple of farmhouses dotted about on this trail so it's not too remote. But still, it keeps your uh, senses heightened. Let's get going. People say you're mad coming out on your own. It's not for everyone. Like I uh, said in another video, I do like it. Lots of strange noises tonight, but it is a windy night. Uh, on this particular track, I know there's a lot of badgers. Uh, maybe not out this time of year, but there are a lot of deer which can literally stand right in front of you until you get out and then they bolt them. If you're walking in the dark there, really can make you jump. Get that high oil on. Second, so I'll we'll be talking in other videos about the uh, cryptids of the UK, or at least the uh, mystery animals of the UK. Talking to Ben of 401 Files, I'll leave his link. I'm actually going out and do a video with Ben this spring or summer. I'm going to collaborate and get out in the woods, use radios to communicate, and basically just get up to uh, some scow watching looking for. Any of these mystery animals that are supposed to be wrong, especially around these mirrors. But in Northern England, that's where Ben lives as well. He lives more towards uh, the Yorkshire way, towards York. It's not too far. But yeah, you tell me there is a lot of sightings and all sorts of cryptids in the UK. I didn't think there were any Bigfoot sightings, but like I said in videos, Scottish Mountains, Cornwall, and somebody said the Isle of Wight as well. That is interesting. I do know around here in many parts of the country the uh, big cats, the big black cats, the pumas, they have been seen, and particularly in this area, Pendle Hill area, which is only seven or eight miles from here. There are many sightings of a very large black dog, and I mean a lot larger than any dog you've seen. Uh, this dog is reported to be huge, like the size of a pony, believe it or not, so you never know what you're going to get. On camera. I don't think there's ever been any film of this dog or photographs. Such a shame, he's just a story, but always interesting. I feel like uh, I'm being watched. Uh, there is there's a light up there. Somebody else out tonight. Just switch this IR off. Torch off a second. Let's turn around to have a look. Yeah, there's a light on. I'm talking to Eddie's on the path. But, uh, I'm not saying that's anything mysterious, it's just somebody else out. It's, can't see any IR, red IR, IR lights. It's just somebody with a head torch, or possibly a cyclist.
a minute. That's something up there. So if I put this, so that's the, that is pitch black to me, so you really can see well with these cameras. Let's get going. So I'm just walking past through these farm houses now. Hear the dogs barking, it's probably barking at me. It's quite a remote area, so... The silence camera is brilliant for filming in night time. It's got decent audio, not the best audio, but also it's a little bit shaky. But in the, uh, the latest version, this is the uh, Aurora Pro, they bring out another. Let's have some good stabilisation, then it'd be ideal. Definitely feel like I'm, uh, I'm being watched tonight. You gotta remember here, obviously, the Cyanix. Excellent night and vision. I've got me a little headlamp on, but it's very dark. And actually, I could do with changing the batteries because it's nowhere near as bright as it, it should be, really. It's got a bit of food in my bag, some sausage peppers. Some garlic on them, some ground pepper. Give me a snack while I'm out here. Right next to a reservoir, I think it's yeah, reservoir. And, uh, some guys were fishing them. I saw this story in the camper van, and they're a huge. Can it eerie feeling tonight? You know, like when you, you feel like you've been watched. The huge craft passed over it, blocked out the stories, it was completely silent, a big whooshing noise, the trees blew, very low, circling shape, and they could tell that because it was so clear and they're so starry it blocked them all out. I'll leave the link to the full story in the description, that's fascinating, that is just literally in front of me now. Right. I feel a bit uneasy for some reason, but also, it is very windy tonight, so I hope the audio is okay. The sound is not the best camera for audio. But we'll see. Let's go. So, yeah, this is the particular stretch of water. Uh, these guys have this experience on, and I know one of them. Uh, not one to tell lies, not one to make stories up. Yeah, they'd had a couple of cans as people overnight fishing do, but they all swear they know what they saw, enough for them to pack up and never come back. They used to love fishing here, they used to love it. So, who knows? But I love all these stories. You gotta be careful as well walking around. So many little drops and swamps, especially in this sort of weather, we've had so much rain. And, uh, you know, you've got to be careful, watch where you're walking. If you're out, like I said before, if you are going out, let people know where you're going and roughly what time you plan on being back because there's so many things can happen over the mirrors. You can fall, break your leg. Sometimes, well, quite often, you don't get a phone signal, so a dangerous situation. If the cold weather comes in, the rain, the snow, you're in big trouble. So do be careful. Let's switch this IR. Right, so if you just get a better idea like that. It, see that gap in the ground there? That is a very deep drop into a very deep water. I would have thought I'm not going to even try it. You're walking along and drop, you know, you're in trouble. You went through, you're in trouble. So do be careful. See guys, it's unfortunately 
very cloudy, very cloudy. It's just so cloudy, but one of the best sightings I've got was on a cloudy night like this. I saw a bright orb light and it go over these mirrors and it was just, I watched it for quite some time, five, ten minutes. It slowly drifted over and then moved up into the clouds, disappeared. And uh, on this side, it picked it up like a bright orb of light to my eyes. It was very white, bright in colour, like welding bright. It was no Chinese lantern, it wasn't a drone and uh, or an aeroplane, helicopter, anything like that. I don't know what it was, but I got that on a night like this, so well worth coming out if we don't get anything. We don't get anything, do we? We don't get anything, but you've got to be boots on the ground and go out and try. But I'm going to upload everything, clean eyes, cloudy nights, because it's an adventure, it's a video and it's something you guys can watch and uh, maybe inspire you to go out scout watching yourself and also maybe see something in the footage I've missed so we never know, that's why they're all getting uploaded It's been very bright now you can see it's definitely moving just keeping yeah you can see it moving An orb going into interesting. I knew these lights were in the sky and they weren't car headlights or lights on the ground. But the bone thought that was hovering over there for that long is now up in the sky. I'm gonna keep the camera on this. Try and keep it steady. I've had these bright always before, especially over Pendle Hill. What is that? Can't see any blinking, any aviation lights with it. Seems to be hovering around. This is exactly, well, similar to what's been reported. Going into the clouds. Hasn't moved in a particular unusual way, but it was hovering over low over the hills for quite some time. There you go, it's gone. Keep me out on this guys, if it appears I get my camera back out. So I'm completely gone now. I wondered whether maybe the landing lights coming in, but when they're going into Manchester, they're coming lower and lower. That were going up, it's gone into the clouds. And uh it's nowhere. Well I don't think that is a plane from Manchester because facing this direction is when they're coming in and uh, nothing passed over the top of my head. It was low over the horizon for a good five minutes. I'm sure I saw another one or two. Well, they've gone and that's gone. Crazy. So you can probably see in the distance a blue light, I've switched the IR light off. And that's a sculpture of a disc, flying disc, up on the moors over here. Fold a lot of people and it does 
sit right above the motorway. Many people have reported seeing a landed UFO with blue neon lights on it. It is just a sculpture of the hazard and moves, but it does represent the amount of sightings there are around here. One day I will go over there and do a sky watch from there right up to it and we'll get it on camera and show you exactly. It's pretty impressive, it is massive, and no wonder it fools people when they're uh, new to the area and they don't know that's the interesting stuff. We'll try it without the IR. With the IR it illuminates right in front of you a lot better. But it sort of just uh, blacks out the rest of the scenery. But we can switch that off. You haven't got all that instant illumination right in front of you, but you can see a lot wider in that vision. But this is steep. I'm going to uh, cook these sausages when I get up here. So look at these skies. We've got some a minute. Very cloudy. Very cloudy indeed. Oh, some clearer over there. But that is pitch black to me. It's a far amount. Tap me all like this. I've just got to remember to uh, face out the wind. It is nice to know there is uh, one or two farmhouses around in this direction. There's quite a few down there, that's lower down off the moor. Uh, it is, I don't know, peace of mind sometimes, it's nice to know. Although I do like the uh, seclusion of, of the mirrors. Okay guys, so what I've got here, I've got my stove, I've got some sausages cut up with peppers and uh, some ground pepper and garlic on, smells brilliant raw, but simple way of cooking on the stove, wrapped up in tin foil and they'll cook away that way, no need for any pans, or I'm washing up after. Uh, I'm going to shelter this with my bag, get that cooked up as I'm starving and then we can carry on. I'm going to walk around these moves, get some scour trucked up, hopefully it's going to clear up, fingers crossed. So it's cooking away nicely, I can hear metal gates opening. So there we go, hopefully that lot is cooking away. I'll switch the IR off, I can see it better. Quick easy way of cooking, just a little bit of snack, like a bit of bacon, a couple of sausages, maybe thin steak, things like that. Wrap it up in fowl, put it on the stove, and it'll uh, cook away like a mini oven. Just uh, turn the whole parcel upside down after a few minutes, shelter it with the bag. There we go. Hi, we're back on. Starving. There we are, guys. Sausage, pepper. Ground pepper on and garlic, cook perfectly, just a little snack. That's all you gotta do, wrap it up in foil, chuck it in your stove. No pans, no washing up, simple. It's pretty bright light over there, but could be traffic, uh, foreign traffic. No doubt, we've been down to the ground. Now it's very windy, so the audio is not going to be brilliant. I'll try and face 
away from the wind as much as possible. away from that wind so we'll get up on these mirrors now just past these trees I'd love to see well to see and get on camera the big black cat or the big black dog or any other creatures or a mystery animal this must be a lot of sightings around here I've never ever seen anything or filmed anything like that myself although I have heard some very strange noises there's a lot of wildlife. I'm not familiar with what you know what sounds they'll make, so most likely known wildlife, although I have heard some weird and freaky noises over these ones. Alright, just trying to wait for these bus to go down before I speak on camera. Very windy, that was a nice little snack easy. hear me but uh keep getting flickerings of light like i've been watching somebody's out here but i've checked the sound it's there's no there's no uh infrared red light showing up on my camera so there are farms around there are, there are farms around Okay guys, on my way back to the van now. It's just gone 3 o'clock in the morning. Stayed very cloudy. Didn't see anything unusual. Although, some strange noises and that feeling that we've been watched again. But you get that when you're out on your own in these places. So what I'm going to do is show you a video I filmed with night vision binoculars a couple of years ago when I was out doing the same sort of thing. It was a very bright light, orb type light, hovering up the trees keep hearing noises and I uh, got that on the night vision binoculars not the best video quality but it shows this object moving up into the sky and you see the reflection of the tree changing and, uh, some people comment it's the moon it's not the moon if the moon was up there it was just a, a quarter moon I got that in the footage as well so I'm gonna play that just, you feel like you're being followed and watched doing this I think I'll be used to, used to it by now. Well, I think it's just your natural instincts, everything's heightened. So I'm going to play this video. Please do like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. You like minded people, much love, God bless. Lots more coming up, whether it's clear or not, whether we get anything or not. I'll upload it to the channel because you just never know what you might see in this footage. And uh, any stories, send them to me in the comments. Or to Skywatch UK. 2070outlook.com Facebook or Instagram and we'll get them told in the van so I'm going to get back to the van now get home, have a brownie, get to bed see you lot soon, thanks for watching, take care I was filming this particular light which is a plane blinking away because I do check the flight apps and satellite apps and that was showing, this object wasn't showing, it just turned up, no it's not the moon as you can see the tree in the bottom right hand corner, the light reflecting off the tree and this thing as it moves up, I keep the camera very steady to show its movement. You can see the light moving away from the tree. So I'm going to let this run over at a high speed, just so you can see this light, the way it reflects on the tree, where the light disappears from the tree. And then we'll continue with the footage.
Okay, so we'll start this footage. So here we go, I'm looking at this plane crossing that we're showing on the flight tracker app. I do my flight tracker app, satellite tracker app, so I can roll things out. All of a sudden, I notice there's a bright light. You can see just above the tree there, it's reflecting of the tree. It just appeared. It isn't a drone. I don't fly drones around, I don't have a drone. This was at three o'clock in the morning. There was no one around, there was no sound coming from this. Now I'm keeping the camera still here for experience to show movement as I have had people commenting saying it's just a moon, this is that the other thing is moving. You can see the light is coming off the tree, the reflection of the light. So whatever this is, it's interesting. So I've got that back on this object. It's very bright, there's no sound, it's just hovering there and it's not that far above the tree level. I could tell that with my eyes. I can see this with my eyes. The camera picked it up as you can see the reflection on the tree shows that keeping me camera on this object and to me to the naked eye and also on camera it seemed to be wobbling like some sort of energy it wasn't a solid object certainly no plane not showing on any flight tracker app not showing on any satellite tracker app like i said these cameras don't record audio i will be doing a review on these cameras they are excellent for picking up the night sky the stars and whatever else is up there so there we go, I keep panning back down to show the plane, that's what a plane will look like. Show the trees, the light, reflecting on the trees, and there we go. And the object completely disappeared. Pan back, it had gone. I didn't see it go, I have no idea. Maybe it blinked out, shot off. What happened? It completely disappeared. Now I've had this before a couple of times. When you're out two or three in the morning, it's a clear night, you see all sorts, you can't explain. Whatever it is, I have no idea, but whatever it was. And there we go, another unexplained sighting. Maybe I'll never know what it was, so there's a moon. Just for comparison that night, amazing stuff.